Hello everyone. I am Maryam and welcome to part 2 of our drone path planning series using ROS2 and Mavra. In this part, we will test our software in simulation environment using Gazebo and TX4. Let's get started. Before we jump into running the simulation, it's important to understand what PX4 Autopilot actually is and why we are using it. PX4 Autopilot is an open source flight controller software. Basically, it's the brain of the drone. In the real world, PIX4 runs directly on physical flight controller like a PIX hub and it's responsible for keeping the drone stable, reading sensor data like GPS and IMU, and executing flight commands like takeoff, land, or flight to a waypoint. But what's amazing is that PIX4 can also run in simulation mode on your computer without any hardware. That's what we will be using today. PIX4 in software in the loop or SITL mode. This lets us test and develop complex autonomous behaviors like path planning. PIX4 doesn't work alone. It communicates with other troops. It sends and receives commands through Mavlink. We use Mavras to bridge that Mavlink data into ROS2 so our custom ROS nodes can talk to the drone. And finally, Gazebo acts as the simulated 3D world. It provides physics, visuals, and simulated sensors. All right, now let's start the simulation. Okay, first we launch PIX4 in simulation mode with Gazebo. In the second terminal, we will launch Mavros. For this step, we need to create a file which contains all the configuration parameters for the Mavros node. It tells Mavros how to connect to PIX4, for example, over UDP or a serial. And also it sets up key system parameters like the drone's ID. After having this file ready, we launch Mavras node and load all the settings from this file. Now that our system is up, let's prepare the drone to fly. PX4 must be armed and in auto mission mode to fly the mission plans. So uh, we arm the drone and change the mode to the auto mission. At this point, we are ready to start our mission. We have created a launch file, including our nodes and movements in X, Y, and Z direction. As you can see, the drone starts following the path generated by the All-Star algorithm. If I change the movements in launch file, we can see the drone um, is moving to different position and following different path. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. We successfully run our algorithm in a full drone simulation using ROS2, PX4, Mavros, and Gazebo. Thanks for watching and see you in next tutorials.